I used to be the biggest chicken. I was so scared to get on video, on camera. In fact, I was even a little nervous before making this video. But did you know I'm making this video on a new iPhone? I don't even need this big professional setup. What your audience cares about is your personality, seeing that you're the expert, seeing that you're the one providing value, you're the educator. They're gonna see you completely different than if you just have a logo and a business name and everything is through emails. And that's what I started doing when I first started our business, Automation Links, eight years ago. I started recording videos, but it took me six months to make my first one. Every day I told myself, I'm gonna make a video today. I get chicken, I back out and not make it. Next day I wake up, I'm gonna make a video today. Something came up, I let something distract me and I didn't make it. Next day, I'm gonna make a video today. And I just never made a video until finally one day I made the worst, crappiest video you've ever seen. But those first videos is what actually helped me get more customers. Hey there, my name's Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. And over the last eight years, I've been helping people grow brands. If you're new to my channel, comment noob down below. I'm gonna share with you my storytelling template that you can copy and paste. Your clients and your audience want somebody that's relatable. They wanna work with a brand that they feel like they can trust. And the second best way to meeting somebody is videos. They can see your personality, see if you're funny or not, and they'll start building trust with your brand. So I wanna encourage you, pick up your iPhone, turn it horizontal, and start recording yourself talk. You don't have to publish it. Do it four or five times, just upload it to YouTube and save it as unlisted. No one ever has to see those. But what that's gonna do is help you start getting comfortable on camera. The second tip that helped me, write down six bullet points you wanna cover. First, you wanna cover the hook. Then you wanna introduce yourself. Then you wanna talk about your experience and how you help. Then you wanna tell them about different ways you can help them and then a review and a call to action at the end. And I'm gonna give another link right here that you can copy where I give you my exact six bullet points that I cover. In fact, I just did it in this video. I have my iPhone sitting over here, started recording. I had my six bullet points in my head or right here on my computer that I can look down to and reference. And if I mess up or my hair is messed up or I gotta pick my nose, we can go edit and crop that out. It really doesn't matter. It's easy to edit. Just make sure you keep eye contact with that camera before and after pausing. Now it's easier than you think to make the video because you don't have to publish so no one has to see it. Start making those, start getting comfortable, and start talking about things that you're an expert in. Another thing that's helped me is I always think of myself as the college professor. I've got a room full of 30 students, I'm teaching them something, and my script doesn't have to be perfect. They just see me standing in front of the stage, teaching them and educating them. And that's why I'm providing value here. Think about how this video started. I started with a hook. Are you scared making videos? And then think about my next is where I introduce myself. I've been doing this a while. I help people grow brands. And then think about the next thing I talked about, providing value, bullet points, different ways you can make the video. Just use your phone. Don't forget to turn it horizontal because when you're making YouTube videos, you're not doing shorts and reels. I know that's popular right now. You're providing education. And that's what is gonna truly set your brand apart from the rest. You're on camera, you're educating, you're providing value, they'll remember your name. No one remembers your business name or your logo. Quite frankly, they don't care. They want somebody that is relatable, that they can trust, and that they see as the expert. Now, if you're building any type of brand, you better be good at one thing. So if you're good at one thing, it's easier for you to talk about that one thing. You can talk about it a million different ways. And especially with tools like ChatGPT, put that one thing you're good at, and it'll provide you 20, 30, 50, 100 topics. Now, I'm good at helping people create their video for the first time because I experienced that. I was nervous, I was scared, I didn't know what to say, and I was camera shy. But I've overcome that and I wanna help you do that as well. So I put together this video that you can check out right here. This video gives you these six bullet points, helps you discover the hook, the introduction, being relatable, sharing case studies and a review, and then always telling somebody where to go next. By the way, I just did that. Video's coming to an end, and I just told you where to go next. So what are you waiting for? Go pull out your phone, start recording yourself. It doesn't matter if your hair is messed up and you don't say it perfectly, just start, because you have nothing to lose. But what you have to gain is to grow your brand on YouTube, Google, social media, and you'll be the one that people look up to and trust when they go to hire a brand like yours. So thanks again for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one.